All right, today's people are weird talk. So, last night when Ginger was getting, come on, go, uh, buddy. I should have let him just sniff it. He's on. So I do the first, uh, what, seven, ten minutes. I try to let him do whatever. And for some reason, I start getting, <laughs> we get close to the edge. I'm like, okay, let's go. There's a bunch of smells right here. Let them smell. That dog, that's what this first seven to ten minutes is. Pee all you want, sniff all you want. <clears throat> well, not all you want. Anyways, Ginger's getting picked up. And her mom said that uh, there's a few people over by her. This is a nice neighborhood, right? That uh, they let their... She's got a... I think she said a chocolate lab one time. And then I, uh, yesterday she said there was a doodle that just kind of cruise around the neighborhood, right? It's a, it's a kind of quiet, back-in-the-way little area. You gonna poop? No, just pee. All right, let's go. So that was him. I gotta kind of. I think I gotta put it into that. I mean, he's ten years old though. <clears throat> but anyways, she said they just let him go out unsupervised. And it's quiet. It's not like here where there's a big old street. It's back neighborhoods. But still, I don't understand, like, just letting your dog out go do stuff. It's just like people that just throw the dog in the backyard to let the dog have exercise by itself, right? That ain't no good. I mean, for some of them, this guy would enjoy it. He's 10 years old, so he would enjoy a backyard just to go out and lay down. But still go out there and play with them and walk them. Right? There's some people that they get a dog and they just lounge with them in the house. Now, again, some dogs are just house loungers, so. But it's kind of, I don't understand that. It's, if you got a dog, you get out with it and do stuff with it. Get that dog 30 to 45 minutes in the morning, 30 to 45 minutes at night. It's an hour and a half. Hour to an hour and a half. All right? That's all you got to give it. Now, and once they get older, then you can get rid of that morning time if you want. I don't. Um, but you can. And just spend the time in the evening time. 45 minutes to an hour. But do something with them, right? Get out and do something with the girl, boo-boo. Get out and do something with them. Don't let them out unsupervised. They're going to poop in people's yards. You got to pick it up. So even when I... Oh, we're supposed to be walking out. All right, come on, let's go. Even when I go through the neighborhood, I try to go uh, in this area. It's like, so some people are like, your dog should never appear poop on somebody else's yard. Uh, and I try not to let him do too much. But... So I try to go through this field right here, and then I go into the neighborhood. So they can, you know, so five to seven minutes in the field so they can pee and poop. And obviously sometimes they're not gonna poop for 20 minutes, but say you're in a house, right? Put your dog out to potty in your backyard and then go for your walk, right? And if they have a second poop, they're gonna have a second poop, but your main one should be at home. Right? That's what they say. I don't know. I think a lot of these big dogs, they're not going to poop. Like this dude, that's the fastest he's pooped in God knows how long. We've only been out 10 minutes. He usually goes 20 to 30 minutes before he poops. So, when we go through the, with him, I let him pee a couple times. Then we go through the neighborhood. And then I come back through, uh, I try to time it where we're about 20 minutes. Hey, let's walk now. It's enough of that crap. I'm distracted talking. <laughs> Big dummy. Making me making me inconsistent. Or inconsistent er. Is that a word? Is it is that a word to be inconsistent er? <laughs> uh, but anyhow, I try to time it where, right, he's got a pee in the apartments, condos, and then 
in the field on the way and then we go about 20 minutes so that's 25 minutes that's usually about when he's got a poop so i'm usually back to the field but sometimes he poops slightly earlier it's almost always at least 20 minutes though but anyways that's kind of knowing your dog right so if your dog poops at 30 minutes you know you're walking for 20 minutes get back to your yard you're not gonna do that but ideally your dog will have pooped at home and peed that's ideal but you know life's not ideal right and most people don't care um the part is these unsupervised dogs they're gonna poop wherever and then you're leaving your dog's poop for somebody else to pick up that's just craziness in somebody's personal yard right so a lot of these people here they leave their poop out here it's kind of public area public grass is still bad habits but you know whatever at least it's not somebody's personal yard so anyways do stuff with your dog dudes quit being a bum if your dog's a lazy dog then that's fine most dogs are not lazy dogs most dogs want to do stuff with us they want to do something and you need to be doing something so there get out have fun be active.